Everyone knows about Minecraft structures, but do you know their stories? Today, we're going into the past to discover their origins, starting with... The Stronghold, one of the most mysterious structures in the entire Minecraft dimension. Wait a second, where's the end portal? Well, Guido, we're going back in time to before there even was an end portal. So this should be interesting. And here we are, Guido, the Stronghold. Huh, the end portal really is missing. There might be silverfish around here, Steve. Don't worry, I got you. Actually, Guido, I don't think the silverfish are here either. Because this is the Stronghold before it even was the Stronghold. Steve, is this some kind of workplace? Yeah, seems that way. We've got scientists, soldiers. Uh, hey, I was wondering if you guys could help me. Could you... Wait, we know they just ignored me entirely. Because when we're in the past, we are invisible. Oh, that makes sense. But what were these scientists and soldiers even doing here? I mean, it looks like there's a serious operation. Everything's super clean and right. I'd never betray my country and reveal her secrets. What, in the multiverse? Sounded like it came from the what the heck is all that shouting about? My knowledge is beyond your grasp. We only mean to use it for peace. Please help us end this war. Tell me what you know about this ancient teleportation magic. Whoa! Teleportation magic? Guido, I think I see what's going on here. These two people are in a war. Well, the nations are. This guy is the leader of this nation. And I'm guessing that the guy inside, the one with really cool hair, he is a soldier in the other nation. Whatever you're trying to do, it's hopeless. Ancient magic isn't something you can just force from someone's mind. So, the military leader is trying to learn ancient teleportation magic. Yeah, and I wonder if learning that magic is what leads to the creation of the end portal. It's missing, remember? We need to learn more, Guido, and I think I know exactly where we can learn more. What the heck is going on there? Ooh, they got two of those pictures? Yeah, these soldiers and scientists are a little weird. Aha! The library! Hmm. These guys look smart. The portal is nearly complete, but we're still missing the final incantation. Without it, the portal won't activate. Keep searching. The knowledge must be here somewhere. The fate of our nation depends on it. <gasps> An alarm! Guido, what's going on? They found us! We're under attack! Oh, that doesn't sound good! We've got to keep these scientists safe to learn the rest of the story of the stronghold! So we've got the purple guys, which belong to the military leader, and the red faction, which that prisoner was part of. If we want to see the portal bill, then we've got to make sure the purple guys win! Oh, I'm trying, Guido, but I can't seem to hit them! I think it's because I'm in the past! Then there's gotta be another way of helping out! We need something that can take all the red guys down at once. Something like... Like TNT. Guido, follow me! I spotted some chests in the library. And if we're lucky... They might have exactly what we need! But we're missing something to light it with! Don't worry! There's another chest right here! Come on, come on, come on! Oh no! Oh, I was really hoping we were gonna find a fucking steal! Well, Guido, that's where you come into play! Activate Flamethrower Mode! Well, you're wrong, Guido, because we sealed off this tunnel, meaning that we kept the scientists safe. We've just got to find them. Come on, where are they? <gasps> no, 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 stay with us. We can't finish the portal without you. Guido, what's going on here? There's Steve, look. Her leg is injured. Yeah, we need to do something to stop the bleeding. It looks like these soldiers and scientists are just giving up, but I'm not going to give up. In fact, I've got an idea. You're gonna cut her leg off? No! No, Guido, of course not! We just need to apply heat to the wound to stop the bleeding. Ooh, this is probably gonna stay. Well, it's better than not knowing the end to this story. Okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> yes! Oh, I don't see anything. 
But look, you're not bleeding anymore. I guess miracles do happen. Now bandage me up so I can get back to work. We did it, Guido. We saved the scientist's life. Look at that bandage. Whoa, and she wasn't kidding. She's going straight back to work. This is it. She's got to build the end portal. Here we go. She's going to put the end eyes down. Yes, this is it. Fill up every single one of the slots and... Wait, what? Come on. What am I missing here? I was about to ask the same question, Guido. It looks like she's done everything correctly, but there's no portal. Then we must be missing one key piece of information. Yeah, but who exactly is going to know how to... Wait, the prisoner! Oh yeah, he refused to share his secrets! Now, of course, we can't just go in there and get the information from him because, look, I'm in the past, he can't see me, and I can't break through these bars. So instead, I was thinking we can maybe freak him out to force the secrets out of him. Guido, go ahead and transform into a fan. A fan? What exactly are you thinking here, Steve? We are going to make him think that he's not alone. Cold wind underground? That's impossible, unless something supernatural is here. Yes, it's working, Guido. He's starting to get spooked. But we need to keep this going if we want to get him to confess. What happens if I do something like this? <laughs> okay, okay, spirit. Tell me what you want. Oh, it's simple, prisoner. I want you to tell me everything you know about the ancient magic of Ender Eyes. You want me to reveal the ancient magic? I can't. Ah, oh, he's still being stubborn. Hey, Guido, one more thing. Go ahead and blow out those lights, would ya? Ah! All right, I'll do it. Don't hurt me anymore, please. Oh, Guido, he is so scared now. And look, he's running in the book. Thank you very much. Come on, Guido. Back to the end portal. Let's see here. There's the lead scientist, so let's give her the book and see if she can figure this out. Huh? Where did this come from? Wait, that's it. The portal frames have to be attuned to the frequency of the eyes of Ender. Oh, of course, that's right. You have to put the Ender eyes in a certain way so that they're all facing the right direction. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. I never knew that. All right, just a few more to go, and boom! The gateway to the end is open! Can you believe it? This is what we've been working towards for years! Great work! We may end this war after all. Come on, everyone! It's time to leave this world behind and seek refuge in a new one. Whoa, Guido, look at them go! Did they even realize what's on the other side? Can't forget my diamond tools! I have a feeling there will be lots more building to do on the other side. So that was the story of the Stronghold, an ancient military civilization trying to learn teleportation magic. And as the years went on, Guido, this Stronghold became older and older, turning into the Stronghold we see today. I've got a feeling we'll run into those people again, Steve. So do I. But for now, let's focus on the next story. The Desert Temple. Looks like it was pretty upgraded in the past. But Steve, look at that sandstone. Yeah, there's like a weird symbol or, or face on the side. Who could that be? Well, Guido, it's up to us to find out. Like the Cosmic King's beard. Look at this place. Yeah, Guido, it used to be an entire city. Not just one measly structure. This is absolutely insane. And look how the villagers used to look. So stylish. So we've got the main desert temple over there. But what are all the other buildings about? Yeah, there's another large one just over there on the horizon. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Sorry about this. Yep, my bad. Oh, Guido, look! They must be the rulers of this kingdom! The prince, the queen, and the pharaoh! My people, today we mark the beginning of a new era! Today I bestow this crown upon my son, who will lead you with wisdom and strength!
Oh, Greedo, this is actually quite nice. But none of this is here in the modern Minecraft dimension. So I'm guessing something's gonna happen anytime now! Pharaoh! Mama! No! Mommy and Daddy can save you now, boy! <laughs> well, you know, it's an assassin! We've gotta do something! Hold on, I've got something! Uh, Gordo, this seems to be working for now! But the only way to save the prince is to take him out! Just keep pushing the assassin back, Steve! I'll tell you exactly what to do! Wow, this guy's a real idiot. That's it, keep him right there! Look up, Steve! Anvil! Oh, I see where you're going with this! All I need to do is break oh, those blocks! No, 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 no. That'll weaken the supports of the anvils themselves and... Boom! We did it! We saved the new pharaoh! And that means our story can continue! Guido, it's been a few years and energy morale in the village seems to be pretty low. Well, wouldn't you be upset if your ruler disappeared? Yeah, he hasn't been seen for a while. But I think I know exactly where he will be. I must know the secrets of the afterlife. I must see my parents again. Nothing else matters. Hey, look, this must be one of the Pharaoh's researchers. Ah, We're trying to help him discover the secrets of the afterlife. Well, let's see what he's found out. Uh, oh, nothing. And the Pharaoh is not happy about that. You Whoa! No, me no, 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 this isn't the way. Stop! Stop this right now, Pharaoh! Steve, he can't see. Uh, still not enough. You there! Huh? Gather my most valuable items. Maybe then the gods will accept our sacrifice and return my parents. Ah, <sighs> Guido, the Pharaoh's just getting worse. It won't be long before someone takes matters into their own hands. My lord, we have found the answer you seek. A ritual that will open the gates to the afterlife. You will be reunited with your parents at last. Finally! Prepare the ritual at once! I don't know, Guido. Something about this seems off. Yeah, it almost seems too... easy. And who even are these guys? I I've never seen them part of the Pharaoh's guard. Well, it's a little too late, Steve. He's surrounded! They seem to be doing something. Maybe they're chanting to bring his parents back. If that was the case, Guido, then why does that one have a knife? Now, send him to the afterlife where he belongs. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, the multiverse for Guido rings! Now get out of here, you stinky knife! What in the multiverse? Pull the lever! No, no, no! no. That's it, Guido. That's what those blocks were. It's the soul of the Pharaoh, embedded in the very temple itself. There! That must be where the soul of the Pharaoh is contained! Well, Guido, time has passed by again, and just look at this place! All the buildings have crumbled down and a giant sandstorm has rolled through! Wait, who in the multiverse is that? I'm not entirely sure. He looks like some kind of explorer, maybe? And just like everyone else in the past, he has absolutely no idea I'm here. There's something dark lingering here. A curse that needs to be lifted. This is exactly what I've been searching for. Sounds like he's been looking for this place for a long time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, look, he's heading straight for the temple. He doesn't realize that the curse of the Pharaoh lives on within the walls of the temple. I think he's in big danger. Ugh, if only I could move that pot without breaking it. Its placement is just off. Hmm, if the positioning of the pot is wrong, then maybe we could give him a hand, Guido? But the pot is so delicate, the last thing we want to do is break it. Maybe we can help with that. Open mode, activate. Of 
have admit mode. You didn't tell me you could do that. All right, easy does it. The last thing we want to do is break this thing. Ugh. Yes. Yes, Guido, it's working. Steve, are you seeing this? The Pharaoh. His spirit has been resurrected. I have wronged my people. I have wronged my family. Forgive me. What? We know what's going on! The entire town is shaking! What in the multiverse? The city. It's gone! And that's why modern day desert temples stand alone. The remnants of a long lost civilization and the pharaoh who haunted them. Man, it gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Hey, Steve, come take a look at this. It's the Nether Fortress. Yeah, but it looks a little different. Parts of it have come crumbling down and it's up to us to find out why. And here we are, Guido, in the Nether Fortress. Wait, what? What's wrong? Well, look at it, Guido. We're definitely in a nether fortress, but absolutely none of it is crumbling down. Oh yeah, it looks even better than it does in the modern day. No crumbling down, everything's perfectly constructed, and there aren't any hostile mobs anywhere. Everything seems absolutely a-okay. Uh, what in the multiverse? Is that a helicopter? Yeah, Guido, it is a helicopter, but my question is, what the heck is it doing here? I'm guessing that the Nether Fortress was once some kind of military bit. Hey, look! Soldiers! Listen up, only the best fighters survive here and earn their place in our ranks. You'll face spawners, hostile creatures, and the maze-like layout of the fortress itself. Every chest, every corridor, it's all part of your test. Fail, and you won't live to regret it! Oh, so this is some kind of training facility, Guido, and they're off! What does training even mean? Well, you heard the general! It's this soldier's goal to move through the Never Fortress, using all their abilities to take down the hostile mobs inside, and, uh, well, it seems like they're not doing so well. Yeah, they kind of got set on fire a little bit there. But now they've taken down the Wither Skeletons, so the blazes should be easy work. But now there's a big group of skeletons in there! And that's where we come in, Guido! Yeah, take this, you stinking skeletons! That's right, if we want to see the rest of this story, we've got to make sure the soldier makes it out alive. Yes, coming in hot! Guido Bazooka Mode! <laughs> I'm the weapon of mass destruction! And with that, the soldier has made it to the end of the course! But that still doesn't explain how the fortress got ruined! Well done. Not many are able to survive the trials of this fortress. This place. I'll always be grateful for the lessons it taught me. And so, the military fully settled into the Nether Fortress as their new base. They used glowstone to light the facility and gold to fuel their machines. Gold? Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, Guido. The peace was interrupted by a horde of greedy piglins. The soldiers were caught off guard. They weren't prepared for such an attack. And the ambush was relentless. That, Guido, is why the Nether Fortress is how it is today. Swarming with monsters, rotting and decaying. The result of one of the biggest invasions the Minecraft Dimension has ever seen. And now we move from fire to water. The Ocean Monuments, one of the most mysterious structures in the entire multiverse, deep below the waves of Minecraft. Just like the Desert Temple, Guido, the Ocean Monument was once surrounded by an entire city! Yeah, but where is everyone? Yeah, all of the buildings seem empty. This entire place is abandoned. Uh, what the heck was that? Do these people live in the city? No, Guido, something tells me that we shouldn't trust them. There it is, lads. The treasure's as good as ours. Treasure? They want to steal from the monument! 
They must be pirates. And some of the pirates are dumber than the others. Arr, which way is the gold, Captain? Every passage looks the same. Keep your wits about you. We'll find it soon enough. Wait, Guido, if they tear this place down, then we'll never discover the story. Then we've got to stop them. Uh, yeah, let me let me just think. Uh, they've got those breathing tubes. Maybe if we find something sharp, then we can get rid of these pirates once and for all by cutting their breathing tubes. Yeah. Uh, Captain, I think my mask is filling with water. Let's turn back. Head for the oh. surface. <laughs> Stay out! We sure show them, Steve! But I've got a question. What treasure were they looking for? And does anyone live here? <gasps> there, Guido, look! Mermaids! That explains why there was no one in the city, because they can't fight back. They were just hiding. But that will not keep the treasure safe for much longer. Let's see what they do next. Those pirates will soon return, and we cannot rely on confusion alone to protect our treasure. Our non-violent ways prevent us from fighting, but we can create creatures to guard the treasure for us. They're heading into the royal lab. And so are we, Guido. Eventually. Now, what exactly is going on here? He's got a heart of the sea, and he's putting it into the machine. Then the energy of the heart of the sea is brought down into the machine, and... Well, looks like it didn't really work. I think they're trying to make guardians, but... They ain't no guardian. They seem close, but they're probably missing just one ingredient. I mean, I do have this prismarine shard. Oh, the one you tried to commit murder with. That's right, Guido. And if we go ahead and throw this in, then what happens? Oh, Guido, he's adorable. I think we just created the first ever guardian. This is perfect. Just create duplicates of this, and our gold should be safe enough. Perhaps a large one could stay in the central chamber. Yeah, you know what would also be fun? If they jump scared you when you were trying to swim around peacefully! Steve, look, the pirates are back! Don't worry, Guido. The Mermaid Queen has this all figured out. Ha-ha! <laughs> Surprise, boys! Yeah, my love! There is no way you're getting this treasure now! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Captain, these creatures are too strong. We need to retreat! Where the heck did they come from? All right, we'll come back once we figure out how to fight these things. Fall back! Bye, see ya! <laughs> All right, Guido, now that those guys are dealt with, we can carry on with the rest of the story. But what happens if they come back? Nah, I'm sure they learned their lesson. Hmm, sponges. That gives me an idea for how to defeat these wretched things. Yep. There's absolutely no chance that those pirates are coming back. Ah, this is the life. That's right, Guido. This might be one of my favorite stories yet. We've just got a tropical paradise where you can fish and I can just... Uh, wait. Guido, what's happening? I don't know, but it's ruining my fishing session. It looks like the water's draining. No, oh, no, no, no. How is this even possible? It's the pirates. It's got to be. No, I didn't think they'd come back, but there they are. Now the gold is ours for the taking. Steve, how did this even happen? Well, at first I thought it was sponges, but I don't see any around here. So it must be that. A magical shell acquired by the pirate captain. That must be what drained the water, but don't worry, the guardians are gonna stop them. Oh no, without water, they're useless. <sighs> okay, we made it to the treasure room. No. no, 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 they found the treasure. And the Mermaid Queen is really struggling without water. We need to get our hands on that shell. Um, uh, the, wait. Guido, please, please tell me you've got that fishing rod. Hopefully you catch something with it. I didn't have much luck. We've only got one shot at this. <laughs> uh, <yeah. gasps> yes! Steve, uh, we did it! The water is flowing back in! And with the ocean completely refilled, that gives a chance for the Mermaid Queen to escape! But the pirate captain won't be so lucky! <laughs> no, he will not, Guido! And that's the story of how we saved the ocean monument from Pirate Raiders! It looks Steve! 
The water has been returned in the diorama. That's more like it. Which leaves us with one final story to tell. And I think it's quite fitting that it is the end. Wait, why are the pillars made of cobblestone? And also, why are they crumbling down? I'm sure all of our questions will be answered, Guido. And remember, we are going to find out what happened to all those people we met way back at the start of the adventure. So let's do this. And here we are, Guido. Everything up until now has been leading up to this moment. We've got our crew right here, and we've also got a bunch of Endermen? Who don't seem to be bothered about these people being here. No, they actually seem pretty chill. Also, notice how the end pillars are completely missing. Something must have happened to create those pillars and turn the Endermen into the monsters they are today. We may have escaped the war in the overworld, but we need to establish a defense in case our enemies figure out how to follow us. This dimension is unlike anything we've ever encountered. But I can feel it. There's an energy here. If we can harness it, we can create something powerful enough to protect us. The military leader is right, Guido. The last thing these guys want are those red soldiers arriving here and messing everything up. Yeah, there was a massacre last time. The red soldiers seem a lot stronger. We do not want that to happen again. Agreed. Whoa, Guido, check it out. She made this entire camp while we were talking. Hey, she really is smart. This void. It's connected to these Endermen in some way, and I feel like there's a consciousness trying to emerge from it. But the stone of this island is messing with my readings. Ah, <sighs> another reason to hate Endstone. We need some fortifications. Get the building materials ready. Building materials, eh? We can show them how to make an end ship. Guido, got any purple? Rather conveniently, I do. All right, let's go ahead and fling this over. Hmm. What's this? I've never seen a block like it before. Whoa! It can float? This gives me an idea! A flying ship! We can sail the stars and dominate this dimension! Let me come. I need to get away from this island to learn more about the void. Wow, Guido, I've never actually seen an end ship in flight! It's so graceful! Wonder what they're trying to achieve up there! Wait, I've got it! To harness the energy of this place, we need to build pillars! The pillars will serve as conduits for the energy of this dimension, but we need a massive amount of obsidian to build them. Where are we supposed to get that? Can we use something renewable like cobblestone? I think I know how to solve that issue, Steve, but we need to make obsidian first. I think I saw earlier that there was a chest inside of this tent. Here we go. Oh, bingo, exactly what we needed. And you're not gonna believe this, Steve. Oh, we, we are getting really lucky today. What a bucket. So for now, Guido, I'm just going to make this basic cobblestone generator. And I can help you collect that. And now we've got an infinite source of cobblestone, but how do we turn that into obsidian? Let me show you, Steve. I'll just borrow the scientist's computer here. And there we go. I've invented an entire new type of furnace. Wait, is this going to convert stuff into... Oh, Obsidian! Great job, dude! Thanks. I try. And now the soldiers have enough Obsidian to build up the pillars which we know today. They found our portal! Everyone, prepare for battle! Oh, Guido, it's chaos! War has broken out! Come on, let's get involved! Oh, wait, I'm in the past. They can't even feel that. Awkward! We don't check it out. Even the leader is getting involved. I think that's just a distraction, Steve. Look. We don't look. It's the Ender Dragon. Our crew are gonna get out of here right now. What? What is that? That's our backup. But I don't think it knows that. Everyone, get to the ship. That must be the end of the story, Guido. A giant war that took place in the end, leaving it as the end we know today. And that was the story of some of Minecraft's most famous structures. So, Guido, next time you're looting a desert temple or the end or whatever, maybe show a little respect, okay? All right, all right, jeez. 